Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see how we can use search option or the query option present in the Azure DevOps. So it's a most important or most, uh, uh, I mean like mostly used functionality in the Azure DevOps which is used to filter out your results, which is used to search out your required queries, right? So, so let, let's see. Uh, you wanted to search something in your in your Azure DevOps or in your project, you can simply go to queries, which is present in the reports. And here, you can you need to click on this new query, right? As soon as you click on this, you'll get a default field like walk item type, right? And then state. Let's move the state. Let's talk about the walk item first of all. So, you know, if you talk about walk items again, these these can be epics, features, tasks, user stories, anything. Let's say you wanted to find out all the tasks. You can click on this, and you'll get the task, right? See, I have put it the value as a task. If you want, you can put epics. You can put it, and you'll get it. Right now, you want those epics which are in, which are uh, let's say which are in new state, right? So if you see here, we have six epics, and out of these six epics, we have four epics which are in the new state. So you can say you know, like this, and you'll get your your values. So since I have, I mean, currently we are seeing very less number of uh, work items here. That's the reason you can even count by your eyes. But again since once you start working on the project you'll get to see hundred of uh, tasks and hundred of user stories and in that case you, you need this this uh, query this this field, this wizard basically to filter out your uh, required uh, results right now let, let's say you want something which is present in a sprint or any any uh, any any iteration you can say or anything so I mean, you can you can basically filter out your required information based on these all filter criteria. You don't have to write the entire uh, code over here. You just have to select the filters based on the requirement. Let's say I want all the test cases. Okay, sorry, test cases. So if you see here, we have five test cases and out of these five test cases, few are ready, few are designed, few are closed, few are. So again, if I want, I want all the test cases which are still in the design phase. See, I want all the test cases which has the automation status. Mission status as planned, let's say. Only one test case. Right, so you want the test cases which has a priority of let's say one. Okay, they don't know. Let's say two. See, all these test cases have priority two. Let's change few test case priority. So, how you can bulk change? You can directly select all these work items, whatever you want to change. You can click on add it, you can select field name let's say priority I want to change and I want to change to priority to 3 okay now to save these changes you need to click on these three dots click on save items now now let's run this query again now we will see there are test cases I mean there are two test cases which has a priority of 2 and if you click on if you want to select the test case which has priority 3 you can simply click on 3 uh, I mean, put the value as 3 and you can run it, you'll get these options, right? So this is how you can do it, again, you, if you want, you can change. So, so it entirely depends on you, like how you want to use this query, okay? Now, okay, wait, I'll not change anything, then let me show you one more thing. If you want to put one more condition, okay, let's say priority is 3, but the state should be uh, closed. I can put it one more. See, so it depends like how many uh, conditions you want to apply over here, right? So let's say um, let's remove these things, and you want to find out the test cases which are in the design state as well as in ready state. Now, how to put multiple values as in filters? 
for the same uh, field right let's say state so now I have to select two states here right so you have one operation in or you can use equal to ready first this condition or either it is in ready state or it is in design state let's say now you need to group these two things because they both are for the same field right so to group it you need to select here after checking after clicking on the checkbox and simply you need to run so you'll get the test cases which are in ready as well as in design state right so this is how you can maintain your uh, queries now you want to run this query every day so you don't have to write it you just simply have to save this query for your future references let's say daily run query or something okay so now if you want to see your query you can click on my queries and you'll get to see daily run query right now what is the benefit of this daily run query you don't have to run this query every day right i mean you don't have to do anything now you can simply click on this it will give you the result every day refreshes right and you can also create a chart out of it so that if some you have to share the details every day with someone it could be you can share this chart right it, it looks good right so this is how you can use the query section present in azure DevOps, and you can share the results of those queries with any 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 of your team members or the stakeholders and these queries can be applied i mean I mean you can apply this query to any work item like works, test case, user story, epics. Okay. So it entirely depends on you. You can play around it and if you have any query just just, just ping me, maybe I I can help you out. Thank you. Thanks a lot.